Dear VH1 and basketball wise, it's time to either put up or shut up and fire Evan and Lozada. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black e on. So y'all already know what time it is, I got the black v-neck on, put your headphones on, cause girl, it's about to get serious. So this conversation was brought to me a couple of weeks ago, probably even a, a month or two ago, about the colorism that continuously happens on um, basketball wise, and the experience that OG has been going through with the cast. They have been trying to make it seem like she is aggressive, um, and she's too much, or they're fearing their life, or they're not comfortable around her. We've seen that from Shawnee, um, Evelyn, we've seen the, like, the microaggression um, style comments they've made about her. Um, you know, and, and at this point, it's time for it to end. Um, I've not watched that many episodes of this season of Basketball Wives, but I started to pay attention a little bit more when I heard about the colorism that OG was experiencing. So I had already peeped on some of the colorism that was happening, and I honestly took a step back from Basketball Wives. I was just like, this is not good for mental health. I'm just not feeling it. But OG has been... Like the way she's treated, not just from you know her being dark skinned, but also uh, how her, her bone structure is, her facial features. Um, a lot of the comments have been very much anti-black, and I, I just like I like to see that Evan Lozada thought it was important or it was okay for her to post on her Instagram story and seemingly calling or referring to OG as a monkey. Now, this is what she posted on her Instagram story. Nobody watches you harder than the people that can't stand you. And she posted a picture of a monkey. Um, now, you all know that Evelyn Lozada and OG have been popping heads on Basketball Wives, and it seems like she is taking a dig at OG. Uh, like, I... I let me catch my breath because I already know that some people are going to say, well, we don't know if she was talking about her and this gaslighting-ish where, oh no, she couldn't be talking about anybody. Like, let's stop with the bullshit because we just had a news anchor compare her black co-host to a gorilla on TV. So I'm not giving you that. Evan Lozada, you already have been called out several times for your anti-black comments. You've been called out for using the N-word already and we need and there's already been a recorded conversation on the grapevine about um the anti-blackness that comes from the latinx community um and evelyn zada you are that you are that you girl and i and i have to keep speaking over myself because i'm trying not to go back to the old 2012 justin J. because i just really don't want to do it i want you to learn from this but you know what i want you to learn from the from from the the checks being stopped from your account VH1, it is time to take action um, and fire these folks for this because y'all have been talked about all this summer. Like there's been whole articles and things written about how anti-black the um, the cast of um, this season and previous seasons of um, Basketball Wise, but specifically there's a whole article on kingareese.com written by one of my writers about this. And we see how y'all treat the cast and how, you know, there are not that many dark skinned folks on the cast. And you had the other girl, I can't think of her name. Yes, she is dark skinned. But when we're talking about how OG is treated, we're talking about not just the, 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 the skin complexion, but also her facial features, the way her nose sits, the way her lips sit, to everything. And I need folks to stop doing stuff like that. And I need for it to be repercussions for this because I just don't see how folks feel comfortable posting something like that, Evelyn. And smart, like your head, your forehead is too big for it not to be that much stuff in there. Like girl, your forehead is too large and not in charge for you not to have the common conde decency to understand that putting a gorilla or a monkey is crazy. And I just don't see how Evelyn Lozada don't see it. Maybe her forehead is in the way. Maybe she does not want to see it. Evelyn, 
You ain't that it, girl, and this is the last check you got. Girl, the other reason why you are on this show is because you are somewhat desirable. Other than that, you don't have a story. That little situation that you did with that, that baseball player, we knew that was for a check. We knew you was getting to the bag, honey. You doing everything in your power to remain, to be able to get a coin, but actually getting yourself together. You are the most anti-black ass person on this show if I have ever seen it. And Shana, I'm going to get on YouTube because you have a let some of this stuff slide. This is why I've not been interested in watching the show because y'all act like y'all these sedili ass white women of color. Like y'all want to uphold some hierarchy or something. Like y'all don't have it. Shana, you are basic and boring. Although you are rich, we're going to give you that because that's the only personality that you do have. And Evelyn, you don't have half of the coin that Shana has. But you got way more attitude than her. The first of all, for y'all to even call uh, OG aggressive for basically just calling y'all out, OG has not been doing anything less than what y'all have been doing. Girl, y'all have been throwing tables. We got Malaysia in her orange face throwing tables and throwing bottles and throwing shoes. I thought she was at the Harper Bazaar Ball or something. She was throwing stuff and chasing folks and all that. And Evelyn, girl, you jumping on tables and you knew not to play that game because you know sis was going to handle you. Girl, you did all this stuff when the security pulled up. You ain't that girl. Stop pretending like you that girl, Crash Bandicoot. Cut it out. I just cannot believe that she poked. And you know what? I can believe it. I can believe that Evelyn thought it was, you know, okay to post something like that. Nobody watches you harder than the people that can't stand you. But let me tell you something. I can't stand you, and I'm not watching Basketball Wives. And the only reason why I'm engaging in this is because I think we need to start some type of boycott on um, Basketball Wives, specifically, uh, you know, this season of Basketball Wives, because y'all have pushed it to the limit. Y'all have been colorist on this show in the past. And this is a blatant ass, disrespectful, colorist ass comment. You knew what you were doing when you posted this. Evelyn, you knew exactly what you were doing. You were trying to refer to OG as a gorilla, as a monkey. And sis, you can't be talking about nobody out here looking like no type of animal, sis. You can't be doing this, sis, when you're out here looking like the new version of a Pokemon. And your special power is... <laughs> Whew. I am just tired of colorism, period. And I'm tired of people who look like OG being disrespectful by the way they look. And Evelyn Lazada, you give me the type of person, like you give me tease of someone who is so glad to say that they are quote unquote mixed. Um, you give me that energy. Uh, sis, you need to check your anti-blackness. You need to check your, your anti-blackness. Honestly, all of the whole cast can use some type of culture or training or something because at this point, the way y'all treat OG, OG to me, I haven't seen her throw any tables, throw anything or fight anybody. All I have seen is sis use her words to combat some of the stuff that y'all have been putting her through. And y'all want to give her this aggressiveness and Shana just saying, well, you know, this is just what it is. And, you know, she's aggressive. Like you feel like you in distress or something. Shana, I don't give a damn how much money you have amassed. You will never be a white woman, ever. You were you married and was in a relationship and had kids with one of the darkest men on this planet. Don't you ever for a second think that you are a Kardashian or that you are a white woman. So don't you ever in your wide ass mouth try to deem some dark skinned woman as aggressive for basically just holding y'all accountable. You have an issue with darker skinned folks Shawnee O'Neal. Okay. Even though you was in a relationship with one, you still seem to have an issue with darker skinned women. Evan Lazada, I'm not done with you either. Because both of y'all were in relationships with darker skinned men. And some of y'all still are dealing with some internalized anti-blackness in the form of y'all disrespecting one of the darkest women on the show. Like, she is the darkest, she has the darkest skin on the show. And the way y'all treat her, the way y'all try to pin her as overly aggressive is, is, is trash. And it makes absolutely no sense. So looking at this, I am very much disgusted. I'm very much turned off and, and, and confused as to why you would use a monkey at the bottom. All these 
emojis and all these things that you can use and you put a monkey like girl you have to be serious and you know it's wrong because i can't even find it on your instagram no more i'm not sure if you deleted it uh but girl a witness was posted but sis this ain't it and I think we all need to just go ahead and just stop watching basketball wise because I, I what's what's going to be even more sad is I am not sure and confident that Mark Lamont Hill will be able to ask or have the conversation about colorism and hold these folks accountable. I would love to see it. I would love to see Mark Lamont Hill hold these women accountable for some of the comments and stuff they've made and how they have treated OG. But I seriously doubt they're going to allow that over their FBH1. I just don't. This is why I have to create my own platforms and why I have to create my own brand because it is difficult to see stuff like this and to want to work with a VH1 or MTV or Viacom period and then I have to call y'all out on the carpet for mess like this for allowing some mess to go on like this for the whole couple of seasons and y'all not hold Evelyn Azada accountable so at this point I'm not I don't give a damn about being on any of y'all shit I want y'all to get this shit together because this makes absolutely no sense um, and y'all know what Evelyn Azada is over there doing Evelyn you know better you should know better it's your big grown ass age with your only girl you still considering how long you've been on this show how long you've been on a reality tv you still putting up packets of flat tummy tea in 2019 you still selling instagram ads for 500 dollars a pop girl find you some business and a goddamn book